is we rolling or is we rolling hello and welcome back hey how are you how is it going so before this video even begins um i need to tell you guys a little something i am 20 years old and i don't feel my age i still feel like i am 17 18 but no no your girl is 20 years old and I do want to apologize because I don't have a birthday video for you guys I know the last couple birthdays I filmed something for you guys but this year this one just kind of felt different than my other two this one just felt like I needed to be in the present and actually enjoy it rather than from behind the camera and trying to find good shots and just like having my mind somewhere else so I didn't film a video this time but it was actually a pretty good day basically we just took a trip down to San Diego Old Town San Diego and Chicano Park and then we made a little trip to Little Italy which is a little section in San Diego where they kind of have like this whole like group of Italian restaurants one after another so we ate at a restaurant there and they actually did a little happy birthday for me with a little cannoli it was my first time trying a cannoli and it was actually pretty good and then we spent the rest of the night at the beach and again it was my first time ever being at the beach in the nighttime so it was so beautiful and such a soothing moment for me I had so much fun the night after my parents wanted to do a little happy birthday with some mini cheesecakes that I bought myself from my sister's friend who actually started started up this like dessert business so we did that and that's kind of how my birthday went so I gotta say being 20 has been very very new to me and very interesting you know I'm trying to get used to my age now <laughs> even though I don't look the part I have been trying to change up things in my life to kind of better myself as you guys know I've gotten into reading I have become a plant mom I actually bought a few little hair clips some jewelry to start wearing because your girl never wanted to do any of that accessory stuff so I've started doing that I bought myself a hat which actually it's right here Ta -da! I bought this hat at forever 21 because I just want to get out of my comfort zone and just start you know changing it up and of course from behind me you guys can kind of see that some change has been done to the room which I'll go ahead and show you that in a second but um, yeah that's you know it's kind of a new new thing for me and just trying to get used to it trying to get used to being a 20 year old <laughs> but i gotta say being 20 does feel good so far okay so moving on to my room before i show you guys i just want to give a big thank you to debbie if it wasn't for her none of this would have existed and i also want to give a big thank you to her boyfriend as well because with his height he was actually able to hang up some things so Thanks for that! So another thing, for the flower wall, Debbie and I actually ended up having two different visions because she and I were talking back and forth about this and I guess we both pictured it different ways so with the way it is now is kind of how we fixed it, I guess? So we shifted the flower wall over to this wall and what I mean by our visions being completely different from the other I thought this was gonna be the image for the flower wall but Debbie thought the whole wall was gonna be filled with the flowers so we ended up realizing that we didn't have the flowers anymore because I actually threw them away thinking we weren't gonna use them so instead of going out and buying some more flowers we kind of future me popping in just wanted to say that this part kind of cut off but what I was trying to say is instead of going to the store and buying more flowers for the wall we decided to make it work with these curtains that I bought and that's actually what I'm going to talk to you guys about right now, so bye! And then I actually bought these curtains that weren't supposed to be there. They were supposed to be somewhere else, but they ended up fitting right here anyway, so this is kind of how the flower wall completed. And let me show you guys the curtains really quick. So these guys are basically these sheer curtains that have these like gold flakes on them. So kind of tied in perfectly with the flower wall. 
And then coming over to my bedside, we added these pieces of artwork that Debbie and I actually did the night before. The one on the far left, Debbie actually did, and then I went ahead and did the other ones. So I kind of just put those right on top of my bedside, and I think it looks so cute. Okay, so then coming over here to my lamp, Debbie decided she wanted to make this my little comfy slash spooky corner. So coming to the first top here, we have the floral set. We have my Suavecita and Bride of Frankenstein collection along with my both favorite lippies. Down here she added my cozy pumpkin along with my books. So as you can see, of course I have Fair Warning and then this book is actually Pet Cemetery. It was gifted to me for my birthday from Bebel and Pedro. I've seen this movie so many times so I'm like really excited to read the book. And then down here this last one is just for the Wi-Fi. Coming over to my desk. On this left corner here, we put Bloom and my sunglasses. We put my October signs and this little basic witch sticker on top. We ended up having some flowers left over, so Debbie put them in a little vase and added my little fall candle along with these cute little stickers and then for now i have my hair clips and my necklace here i do have a lotus flower that debbie gave me but i'm currently painting it so that's why they're kind of here right now but this is technically where the lotus flower would be and then coming down here we have my beauty and the beast bag which inside it actually has my contact solution my contacts and my retainer I have my brush and my comb. Down here I have a couple more candles, my remote for my fan, and my panda jewelry box. I ended up taking off these star-shaped lights that were on top of my closet and moved them over here where the curtains are. And then on the top here, I went ahead and hung up my little birthday gifts that Debbie actually got me. And these are basically my three top favorite songs in like black form, I guess we'll say. But yeah, so that's kind of how the room is now. I think it's actually pretty cute and I'm very excited that we were able to finally make something of this wall. So this wasn't all Debbie did. She decided to get into the whole organizing section here in my room and that included my closet. So now to show you guys that one. So basically she made this box like an undergarments box, my sock box, and my little toiletries box. This is actually a makeup kit and she basically put like all of my everyday makeup in there. She decided to put my little filming stuff in this corner here. She wanted my shoes to be a little more laid out. Then coming over to this side here, we have our little arts and crafts section, some more shoes. These ones are the ones that I don't really wear on an everyday basis. I brought my box of clothing on this side. Have some more makeup here. Up here she brought out my Soli and Boo Pops. This Wally was a birthday gift from my brother. So he's kind of displayed there. Have some more organization here. So yeah, she went all out on the organization stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of difficult to go through that just because it is like extremely new for me to get that organized so I mean I'm glad that it happened but at the same time I gotta get used to it so I mean hey new beginnings here we go like I said huge thanks to Debbie because this none of this would have happened if it wasn't for her so thank you Debbie Okay, so it's been a little while. I enjoyed my reading. Did my two chapters today. Lots going on in the book. I've made a decision. So the last, I wanna say like three or four hours, I have been trying to decide whether I wanted to play with my makeup today or not. And the reason why I was going back and forth is because Debbie bought me an eyeshadow palette for my birthday. And this is actually an eyeshadow palette that I really really liked but the eyeshadow palette has a story to it so basically this is the palette here 
It is the 420 palette by Melt Cosmetics. And then this is the inside of the palette. So now that you've seen the inside, it's time for a little story. So my best friend's little sister has her birthday a few days before mine. And so I made a trip to the Tyler Mall, to the Sephora over there to kind of get her little makeup things because she is starting to get involved with that. And while I was there, I stumbled across this palette, beautiful colors. I was just so amazed by these colors so much that I just grabbed the palette and continued walking because I was like, I'm gonna get this palette. Like, I'm probably not gonna see this palette again. Probably not gonna come to Sephora or any makeup store in a good while, so you know, I'll snatch it. But I actually had a limit on how much I was gonna spend for my best friend's little sister. Of course, the palette kind of exceeded that limit, so I decided to leave the palette behind. I didn't pay attention to the name of the palette or to the brand of the palette. Also, let me just say, I was with my mom, so, you know, for the future of the story. So fast forward to the day before my birthday. I was actually working. I was almost off of my shift when I get a text from Debbie and she tells me that my birthday gift is sitting at my desk so that way when I come home I can just open it up and so I'm like okay fine sounds good I get home I open up my gift and it is this entire case with the palette inside and my other birthday gifts that she got me I open it and I see the palette and I'm like okay it's the palette that I like like cool awesome again not even like paying attention to anything and so Debbie comes in, she's like, Did you open it? I'm like, yes, thank you for the palette. And she's like, Did you read the palette? No. So then she tells me to look at the name of the palette and I'm like, okay. So I look at it and I see the name and she's like, It says 420. And then she starts telling me, And those aren't leaves inside, those are herbs. I'm like, okay. You know, kind of confused about why she was telling me about the herbs. I'm like, okay, I guess, yeah. She's like, mom was saying that you liked it so much because of the leaves inside the palette. And I was like, I never said that. I said that I liked the colors. And so we kind of just started laughing about it. And she's like, I don't know why. Mom was saying that you liked them because of the pretty leaves inside. But long story short, I guess Debbie kind of misinterpreted my mom when my mom was explaining to her why I liked the palette so much. So anyways, um, yeah, basically, I have a 420 palette and 420 doesn't even apply to me, okay? I only got it because of the freaking colors inside. Like, this is so cute. These colors are so freaking cute. And of course the names on the palette are 420 related, so I don't even know what any of these mean. Or at least the majority of them. But yeah guys, I got the palette that I wanted. And surprisingly it's in the 420 category. I had no idea, but it's okay the colors are pretty so i think i am gonna play with the palette today because these colors look so freaking cute Yay! i'm excited okay makeup time and i decided to start off with this shade right here called full melt i think it's so cute it's so fallish Ooh. it looks very pigmented too i'm scared so cute my right hand for this one. Wow. Wow. So cute. Legit, this was only a few taps and it got so much. That's crazy. My goodness, I love the color. I'm trying to decide what other color I want to use. This yellow one right here called wax is calling my name i don't know if that's gonna be too much uh, whatever i'll just do it i'll just do it oh my god that looks like paint look at how bright this freaking shade is oh my god Ooh, i'm scared i don't want to mess this up okay oh god nope i think i butchered it maybe not oh okay just gotta keep piling it on We'll get it. Alrighty, so this is kind of what I came up with with the palette. Oh my god, I'm obsessing over these colors, you guys. Especially that yellow. It is so cute. Oh my god. I can't. So the palette is 
very very pigmented I had to go in with like two taps and that was enough for me the yellow I used with my finger and like again one or two taps was fine and then in the inner corner I used this kind of like orangey yellow orange kind of shimmery shade to complete it and I just I can't it's so cute so to make it whole put on my big Bertha and then just threw my hair in a little bun and I like it I love it I feel in the fall spirit right now with just these colors like I cannot my eyes are so watery though uh, honestly though I'll probably just use these colors and maybe the dark green at some point but I don't know I like these ones I'm obsessed with these ones okay so now I have to do a little bit of research because Debbie went ahead and gave me her little plantita she got this one I want to say like about a week or so ago but she didn't end up keeping it because panther just cannot for the life of him leave new things alone like whatever new thing he sees he will keep messing with so debbie said he kind of started picking at this one and basically she couldn't really handle it with panther being there so she passed it down to me so i'm gonna try to see what kind of plant this is but the leaves are so cute look at those oh my god it's so small okay let's see i don't even know where to begin what kind of what kind of plant is this let's see i'll do a small plant green and pink leaves <laughs> i don't know oh it's a hypo hypoestis is that what it's called i think that was it hypoestis I have to listen to the pronunciation of that. Hypestes. Hypestes. Oh, you're fancy. Hypestes. How cute. Okay, now to do my research on this. Hy Hypestes? Is that what I said? <laughs> I already forgot it. Hypestes. Yeah, and they call it a polka dot plant. That makes sense. These leaves are so cute. Okay, Hypestes. Let's see. It's actually a Hypestes philostachia. <laughs> I'm not good with these words, okay? Ooh, it says this plant does produce terminal spike like race. I don't know that word. Racins? <laughs> That's probably not it. I'm not even gonna try. Of uh, small tubular pink or blue flowers, but they don't really show. Ooh, so you're mysterious, I see. It says the flowering usually occurs in late summer or fall. So perfect timing, baby. Bring those little flowers out, please. It says Hypestes grows best in bright filtered light, but tolerates some sun. Okay, so you can have some sun, cute. The plants have better color and partial shade than full sun. Okay, okay, I see. But the leaves also fade out in very low light. Hmm. Okay. Prefers humid environment, but may need periodic misting indoors during the winter. I got you, baby. And it does grow with plenty of water. Okay, so you thirsty, huh? Okay, so you're not that difficult. Oh, excited. So now I have three babies because you guys, of course, know bloom. And I actually bought myself another plant, which I actually have to bring inside, so give me a second. So this is my new baby. This one is called an anthurium or something like that. Leaf lace, I think they call it. Um, it's actually my biggest baby at the moment from Bloom and now this one here. So these are my three babies. These are its flowers. I don't know if you guys can see them. Give you guys a little close up of them. I actually just repotted it earlier today because the pot that it had was so small and the roots were popping out so I mean they're still kind of popping out on this one I may have to get a bigger plant but kind of changed it a little bit these ones basically do good um, not in strong Sun usually in like shady areas where some of the Sun peeps in I've had this one for like two or three days and she's pretty I don't know what I'm gonna call her yet or the new one so it might take time for that one but I'm so cute look at all my three babies oh yeah so cute So 
as I mentioned earlier, Debbie gave me this little lotus thing to kind of put my jewelry or put little accessories. And as you can see, it's already kind of painted. So this is actually the original color, but I went ahead and painted it this bronze color to kind of tie in with my bedroom theme. So I already have half of it set, so I'm just gonna finish the bottom half today. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so first layer is done and I'm actually letting it dry right now before I go in with another layer. Have you guys customized your iPhones yet? Because I did and of course I did mine Wally themed because I mean my phone is Wally. So this is how I have it set up. I have little Wally and Eve widget. I have a little motivational quote widget. Did my app icons as Wally and Eve. This side, same thing. This side is probably my favorite side, not even gonna lie. And then last slide. And I think the wallpaper is so cute too because Wally's just looking up at all of the icons and it just works so perfect on everything. I am obsessed. Alrighty, it's been a little while and my camera is actually dying on me, so this is the update. I had done two layers on the bottom here. I think I'm gonna do one more, but I'll probably leave that for tomorrow so I can finish the top portion as well. But we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. I'm not really sure what I want you guys to comment down for today's video, um, so have at it. Free for all, comment whatever you want. Make sure those post notifications are turned on so you guys know exactly when I post my videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!